Hi there, this is Pablo, and in this video, I'm going to talk about how to work with Salesforce flows using Salto. So here I have a flow that somebody else created in my Salesforce org. Since I did not create it, I'm not sure exactly what it does. So I've opened it up and I'm just looking at the components here to understand what it's actually doing. One of the things that I notice is that we have an account variable. If I click on that, I can see that it's a variable of type account. So it seems that the flow is doing something with the account record. Now, if I click here, I can then see where the variable is used within the flow. But the problem is I can't actually open these elements here and see how that variable is used within the flow. I will need to open up each element and go through it and read what's happening before I can get the full picture of what the flow is doing with this account object. So let's see how we can explore this flow in a much easier way in Salto. So I'm here in Salto and I'm just going to search for my flow in the element tree, which is called Salesforce Ben. And here we have the flow. Nice. Now what I'm going to do is I'm just going to copy the name of this variable. I'm going to go back to Salto and I'm just going to drop it here on the search bar. Now, what I'm seeing here is the flow metadata in a really easy to understand format. So I can see the flow name, the type of flow, and now I'm looking at all the locations where that account variable is being used. So for example, here I can see that it's being used in an assignment element, and I can see that the customer priority field is being assigned to the value critical. So great, now I know one place where that account variable is being used and I know that what's happening is we're modifying the customer priority field. We're also assigning a value to the active field as well. So let me just keep going down the list and see what else is happening. All right, now I see that it's also being used in a decision where we check if the customer priority field equals critical. Let me just go down the list a few more times. And I can also see that it's being used here in a screen element as well. So as you can see, this is just a very nice way of being able to visualize your flow metadata. And just the fact that you can search for anything in this way is extremely valuable. You could also search for this field here in case you want to see where that field is used within the flow. So let's just give it a try. And there we have it. It's used there. It's also used again in a decision element. It's also a formula and appears that it's also a dynamic choice. It. So again, we have a lot of options to really understand what is happening with our flows. Thanks to Salto's user friendly interface. Let's look at another example here. I have a flow called flow used everywhere, which as the name implies, I know this flow is being used in many areas of my Salesforce configuration. I know it's being used by other flows in some Apex classes, but I'm not sure exactly where. And as you can see here, there is no where is this use button as it exists for custom fields. So there's no native way for me to see where this flow is being used. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to copy the flow API name. I'm going to go back to Salto. I'm going to drop it in here. And this time I'm going to go over the content tab where I can see all the places in my Salesforce configuration where that name is being used. So I can see here that this is being used in a button. It's also used by two other flows. And I can see it's also being used by an Apex class here. And I can also see that it's being used by a lightning component. So again, this is a really easy way to understand where your flows are being used anywhere in your Salesforce configuration. And that's it. Now you have the tools to understand your flows in your Salesforce org. Thanks for watching.